hey welcome back right so back to accessors here but we are talking about the static accessor because we already know what these do now static is a little bit special because once you set something as static it doesn't belong to instances anymore but it belongs to the main class itself so what do i mean by that like i had said previously that uh, the the instances are like products like uh, products of the factory itself so the class is the factory and these are products of that factory things that are manufactured from here so whatever you change in the product itself does not change the factory well if you make something as a static then it affects the factory itself so that would be the analogy i can give so if for example here i say something like toto is static right now keep in mind that i can still make it private and make it static at the same time so it doesn't matter here but what i cannot do is say private public like this 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 is just not viable here so instead i will have to use private and static or protected and static so you can use any of these with static but you cannot use these uh, with each other because that would be like uh, self-contradictory. I don't even know what would happen because I've never tried this before. And wait a minute. So I, I guess it's it's not. Maybe it would choose one of them. And you can experiment with that. I'm not sure what would happen. But let's uh, do. Let's put static there. Ooh, why do I keep pressing that button? Anyway. So Toto is now static, which means it belongs to the class. And once we change something that belongs to the class, it's kind of perma uh, permanently there. It's going to not change when we create a new instance. So here, let's say, uh, let's make it public so I can access it from outside. Public static Toto. Okay. So in order for me to access Toto, I cannot do it with the way I do it here. So let's give it a shot and see what would happen if I say total like this. So we create a new instance and then we try to access total from outside because why not? It's public, but we've just added static there. So if I refresh, uh, it's going to say accessing static property as non-static. So what this means is that uh, wait there's another error here oh it's the same one okay so what this means is that a static property should be accessed in a very specific way so instead of doing it this way i have to do it with two dots like so and then not only that i have to put the dollar sign like this because uh, it's actually a uh, variable so let me refresh that and you see there's an answer there okay now while i do this the best way to do it is to call the class itself and not use the instance because this is meaningless at this point because regardless what the instance is i'm still calling the actual uh, class because this is a static property that belongs to the whole class so if i paste i do that that's when it works uh, this is how it's meant to be done so i call product and the variable there and you see I still get that zero there okay so this is well and good I can access something outside here in this way as a property but now remember that in here we use this because we are trying to talk about the particular instance and so this will throw an error of course so let's try and see how that would work so let's try and say calculate total or not just that let's just try to read because read will call calculate and then it will try to get this total as well so that way we get a whole package so what I will do here is try to get this from my instance so say book and then I do that and say read and I just want to echo that whole thing like this so let me refresh here and now I get an error saying call to protected method read 
well that's not the error we are looking for but uh, why not let's put this as public shall we that's the error we got there so i will refresh and now you have this issue again accessing static property product total as non-static on line 16 so let's see where line 16 is and line 16 is right over here so here the issue is this is a static property which should be accessed in this manner right here okay with these two dots over here so in the same way that from the outside we use the instance here we use the uh, the class name itself to access uh, this thing here so let's try and do exactly the same thing here so what I will do is do that like this okay and of course I will put the dollar sign there and then I will do exactly the same thing here now this is a function so I don't need to put the dollar sign and then I will return the product uh, the the total like this so um, yeah let's try and do that okay so let me come back here and refresh and now as you can see we get the value that we are looking for okay now here uh, calculate we didn't need to actually do this so because it's not static so but you can see we can access it in a static way as well so let me get back to this like so so the only static thing is that and for us to access it we are using this like the way it is product product like that okay and then i will refresh and i'll still get my answer so this is how you access a static value from within and from without the class so as you can see the access method is exactly the same so here i can access it like this even in here i can access it like that now there's only a slight problem with uh, doing things this way right from inside the class because what happens when i change the class name to product 2 and then i am screwed in that case right because now i can't really uh I'll have to go into the class and change all these things uh, step by step. I have to change the product name everywhere that I see it just because I changed it there. Now to avoid this problem, what we do is instead of using the class name itself, we say self like this. Okay. So using self is better because regardless what the name is, I'm still talking about the class itself. So talking about the self, meaning the class itself. Okay, so in the same way we can have static uh, variables here, we can also have static functions. And to access them, we do the same thing. We say self, just like if calculate here was a public or private static let me just say private static like this because I'm only using it inside this so it makes sense to make it private and then or maybe you can make it protected if you want to be able to have other classes inherit this function as well right so private static which means here I have to change this to self without that I'll say self like this so self-calculate, then I'm accessing it in a static manner. So hopefully this is making some sense. If I refresh, I don't expect to get any errors. And sure enough, I don't. So what I want you to take away from this is that if you create a static variable, uh, it belongs to the class itself. And just one point that I didn't make here is that whatever values you change, inside a static uh, thing they remain as such so for example if i uh, here i'm calculating the total which is a static thing right and then i want to return the total from the read right so let me do this here uh, let me read once Uh, let me come back here so what I want to do is 
right here before I do anything I want to this is public right there that's uh, that's total there so I want to read total from here so here I will echo I will do this so that I show you that the values are persistent so here book echo book uh, total here so what I'm doing here is I create an instance and then I echo out total which is this one now because it is static obviously I will have to put the double thingies like that okay so it's okay to use the instance or you can use the product name uh, that's fine so maybe just to be correct here I will use the product name and then of course I need the dollar sign so echo the total so what do you expect to see you expect to see zero of course so let's try and look at that if I refresh I get a zero no surprise there because why it's zero but now what I want to do is in a is to change that value so how do I change the value by reading the calculate total now because I want this to be accessible from outside I will remove the static all this I'll just say um, public like this okay so I want to access this from outside but what I want it to do is to be able to change the total there so that's what I'm doing here change that total and then I want to read again from the total to see if it maintains that so or oh, just to illustrate the point let me put back book here like this okay so that is fine let me come back here and refresh no problems there okay now once I do that I want to access calculate total so let me copy this and let's duplicate here let me use that one there like so so calculate the total right and then once I calculate the total I want to create another instance here book 2 like this and then after that I want to echo out book 2 total okay so does that make sense I hope so so what I'm doing here is I create one instance and then I check what the total is and then from that same instance I will calculate total which is this one so I'm calculating that total but this is changing a static property and then I'll create another instance and try to read from it but I want to put a break here so that uh, we can see one on each line right like so so come back here and refresh so as you can see now the first time total was zero but now it's 200 which is not usually what happens when you're using instances like I said instances will maintain the original state even when you make 10 instances it won't matter if you had changed the value in one instance it doesn't affect the other but when you're using a static item the changes are permanent to the class itself it just means by the time uh, from the time the, the the whole website let's say you're running a website from the time you click a button and the whole page reloads so from the top of the page to the bottom of the page whatever changes you make to a static variable will remain the same while that script is running until the very end so once the script ends then we are back to the original like this but with instances what happens is every instance is different even on the same script that is running at that particular time so I hope that makes uh, a difference somehow so anything static remains permanent for the duration of the script and anything that is not belongs to a particular instance only all right so I will see you in the next video where we do some more